this one is 2.7 here we have a small railroad bridge which is constructed with steel members and the cross section area for all of them are 3250 millimeter square and the load because of a train is given with these point loads here 270 180 270 and 360 right here we need to figure out how much this point r is moving in the horizontal direction right so to find out the horizontal movement of r because this is a fixed support here and this was a roller here if we can somehow find the deflection in this member this member and this member i can combine all the deflection so that we can figure out the final location of this point r and we can do this because all of these members are horizontal so assuming that uh, their elongation is going to be along the length of these members so effectively this r is going to move by how much ever delta happens here here and here so basically what it means is that horizontal displacement at r is going to be delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 now how do we find these deltas for that we need to pick up the forces in these members so let's give them some names so this one is a this is b c r d e and now let's draw the free boy diagram so as a reaction we are going to get one a y here and r y there and at point a although it is a fixed support we are not using any horizontal reaction because there is no other force in the x direction so for the force balance here we can write an equation which says a y plus r y is equal to 270 plus 180 plus 270 plus 360 which is equal to 1080 kilonewtons now for the moment i can take moment about this point a so your 180 times 4.6 plus 270 times 4.6 times 2 because 2 times we are covering this distance and then plus 360 times 4.6 times 3 and this will be balanced by ry into 4.6 into 3 so everywhere we see 4.6 so this can cancel out so if we solve this your ry value is 600 and ay is equals to 480 kilonewtons let us find the forces in these three members here so that we can calculate the deformations so for the first member here we can analyze joint a and looking at the forces on joint a we have 270 going down a y going up member force going this way and one more this side this one is FAB, FAF, this is 270 and this one is A1. So in terms of equations, we can write FAF cross 60 plus FAB equals to 0 and 270 minus plus AY plus FAF sin 60 equals to 0 so from this we can get the value of fab which is 121.25 kilonewtons similarly we can analyze this in joint r and on the joint r if you look at forces we have a force that is 360 going downwards your reaction ry this way and these two member forces this one is fcr this one is ftr this angle right here is 60 degrees similar to this one and the value of this force is 360 so i can write down the force balance equations in this case fcr plus dr cos 60 equals to 0 this is in the x direction and y direction has fdr sine 60 minus 360 plus ry equals to 0 so from this we can solve for value of fcr which comes out to be 138.56 kilonewtons 
so now we have solved for this member force and this member force this is still pending so one way to do it is that because I have solved for these two here I can go and solve this joint so that I get this force and this force after that I come to joint C so that these two are known and I can solve for these two but that's going to be a long way of doing it uh, rather than doing this what we can do is we can use the method of cuts in this case and the method of cuts will be used on this part of the structure so we are going to basically cut this member from here this one from here and this one from there these are the three cuts we are going we are going to separate this body so once i separate this so let's say if i go here and divide this structure in this manner here so now this right here had your reaction force ry now at this point right here we are going to have a member force going this way a member force going that way because we have cut these members somewhere in the middle they are still going to have their force that were present in these members this force right here is fde this one right here is fce and this one right here is fbc and this is the force that we are interested in now interestingly if you notice here I, I can extend these forces so that they meet at this point which is your point E right so what we can do is we can take the movement about point E for this free body diagram movement about point E and with this both of these forces will not appear in the movement equation because they are passing through this point so what are we going to have in the moment equation if I take this as hy and this distance as hx fbc and the moment term here is going to be hy and about point E this is going to give you a clockwise moment plus 270 kilo newtons which is this force right here moment term for this is going to be from E this distance which is same as hx so this times hx now we have this 360 going down and this ry is equals to 600 so net of these two is going to be 240 going upwards and about this point e this is going to give you an anti-clockwise movement so 240 kilo newtons and the distance from e is going to be three times this hx so three times hx equals to zero so basically this distance plus this distance plus this distance that's why 3hx there so if you solve from here your fbc is equals to 259.8 kilonewtons so now if you start checking delta values delta 1 is in your member ab right here so delta 1 using hooke's law will be FAB times length which is 4.6 meters divided by elastic modulus and the area is A which is common for all of them plus the second one which is your FBC so your force FBC times length is 4.6 divided by EA and the last one is your FCR times 4.6 meters again divided by EA. Now area in this case is given as 3250 millimeter square and elastic modulus E we can take for steel to 105 gigapascals. So now if you notice your FAB is known the value of FAB is 121.25 FPC is known right here and FCR is also known which is 138.56 per meter. So this one is your delta 2 and this one is your delta 3 and this one was your delta 1 so your net delta is going to be delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 which is fab plus fbc plus fcr divided by ea into 4.6 meters there and e and a values are given here 
if I solve this, the value of delta that we get is 3.59 millimeters.